In this video, I'm going to show you the new model selector node that lets you build dynamic AI agents that pick the right LLM for the right use case. For example, perplexity for the research, Google Gemini for the summarization, and ChatGPT for everything else. So you can see this is the new model selector node, and this new model selector node enables you to use up to 10 different LLMs or chat models with the AI agents. So previously, you could only use uh, one chat model at once, but now this model selector node allows you to use up to 10 different LLMs with the AI agent. Here you can see a number of inputs, and down here you can see up to 10. So now I'm going to quickly explain how it works. So if we want to use this model selector node, first things first, we have to add AI agent or some kind of node that supports the chat model. Here you can see I'm going to add AI agent, and down here you can see chat model. Hit this plus down here, and first things first, here you can see model selector node, just pick this one and let's quickly close this. And here you can see now we got this AI agent here with this chat model and the chat model is actually the model selector node. So now let's quickly open the model selector node and you can see you can change the number of inputs. This is the amount of inputs or the LLMs or chat models what you want to use. You can change the number of inputs up to 10 so you can use 10 different LLMs or chat models. Here you can see I'm going to change it and you can see model one, model two, model three, and so on and so on, up to 10. So let's quickly change it back. And down here is the most important place because down here you will add actual rules. So the rules manage when you will use certain models. I'm gonna show you this as well. So in this case, let's quickly add a rule. As you can see, we had down here, we had two different models. We have model one and model two. So uh, here you can basically change the models. For example, if you want to use model one or model two, and we can add a rule as well. And now let's quickly add the chat trigger as well so we can actually test out the two different models. So I'm gonna hit right click, add node, and I'm gonna search up chat trigger. And on the right side, you can see chat trigger just picked this one. And now let's quickly connect it to our AI agent. Here you can see, and now we have to add chat uh, models as well. So in this case, I'm gonna add the Google Gemini. Google Gemini chat model, and let's quickly change the model as well to 1.5 flash, and another one will be OpenAI ChatGPT. You can see ChatGPT 4.1 mini, this will be good. And now let's quickly test it out. Uh, so I'm gonna open chat. I'm gonna take, uh, I'm gonna write here, hey, 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 hit send. And you can see now it is using the Google Gemini, uh, Google Gemini uh, 1.5 flash. And you can see I'm gonna quickly close this. So here you can see we use this Google Gemini chat model because we didn't add actually any rules. So now let's quickly add a rule let's la and let's define when to use which kind of model. So let's quickly open this model selector and inside here you can see on the left side you can see the chat triggers input and on the right side you can see the output. So I'm gonna navigate to logs and on the right side you can see Google Gemini chat model. So we use the Google Gemini chat model in this case. And uh, why we use this? And uh, we use this because under the rules, you can see model and the default model is currently model one. And down here you can see model one is Google Gemini. So it used the Google Gemini because we added this model one here and there's no kind of conditions there. So uh, whenever what kind of text comes in, it will use the model one. Uh, in this case, it will use the Google Gemini. And now let's add some uh, different conditions as well. For example, let's quickly drag a value in this value of one. So let's quickly change the uh, input to mapping and let's quickly drag a uh, when chat message received and down here you can see chat input let's quickly drag this inside this value one is equal actually let's quickly change this is equal to to contains so this message this hey message has to contain or the chat input at, uh, has to contain certain text so in this case let's quickly change it to let's add a Rico and now let's add another rule. So in this case, uh, add rule. And down here you can see the model one. Let's quickly change this to model two. And let's quickly drag the chat input from the left side inside this value one box is equal to, let's quickly change this to contains. And let's uh, just leave this value two to uh, empty. So let me quickly explain how it works. So in the first section, we are using this model one and the model one in this case is Google Gemini and we will use Google Gemini whenever the chat input contains name Rico or the text Rico. And uh, in the second section, you can see in the section two, we are using this model two and the model two in this case is OpenAI chat model. And we will use the OpenAI chat model whenever we don't have the Rico inside this chat input. So I'm gonna quickly show you and demonstrate it. So you will know, you can see I'm gonna open chat and I'm gonna hit, hey, how is Rico? 
doing. I'm going to hit send. As you can see, in this case, it will use the Google Gemini. As you can see, it's going to output uh, the information. As you can see, I don't have access to real time information. It's all right. And now let's quickly use the OpenAI chat model. So in this case, I'm going to just copy this text. How is Rico doing? I will just delete this Rico from here. And then we hit send. As you can see, now it will use the OpenAI chat model. As you can see, it used the OpenAI chat model. Hi, I'm doing well. Thanks for asking. How about you? How can I assist you today? So as you can see, I hope you get the point that you can use different chat models. You can add up to 10. I'm going to show you as well. For example, let's add another one. And add, as you can see, you can add, for example, open router, open router. And uh, just like that, you can basically add a perplexity and you can do deep research and so on and so on. For example, here I'm using the perplexity to do deep research. I'm using Google Gemini to do the summarization and I'm using the ChatGPT to answer all other questions. I'm gonna open up the model selector and you can see deep research, summarize this and deep research, summarize this and all the other uh, questions will be answered by ChatGPT, very nice. And if you want to learn more about AI agents or just want to help for me, I would highly suggest checking out my AI community. I will leave the link down below as well. For example, I just today helped one of my members and you can see here is what he said by the way thank you for your prompt and effective help i'm glad to be a part of the Rico's AI community more people should join so maybe this is your sign if you like this video make sure to subscribe and see you in the next one